This was the scene on Ocean Boulevard Saturday night when Hampton police made 10 arrests trying to disperse a large crowd that had gathered in the middle of the road blocking traffic. I didn't see any fights. I didn't see anything like that, but there were quite a few kids. I would say my guess would be between 150 and 200. Betty Gagne lives on Hampton Beach and was dining in a restaurant on Ocean Boulevard when the whole thing happened. And then within like three minutes, the police come in full riot gear and they had formed a line across the road and they were just walking. I mean, they were had their rifles out and everything. Scared the heck out of me. We did not close any of our businesses last night. We did not feel threatened by any point at last night or last weekend. Our guests did not either. They were comfortable in and eating. Business owner Tracy Shack tells News 9 she's seen several incidents like Saturdays in the past. There's a couple times in the beginning of the year and then when the police step up and the presence is here, it's gone. Come 4th of July, we're a family beach. It really is. Both Shaq and Gagne tell News 9 they're happy with the aggressive approach Police Chief David Hobbs is taking this summer. When I saw the police, I thought, oh my gosh, look at that. They're right on top of this. And that really makes me feel good. It was great. We had a huge police presence here last night. And it, I think that in itself is enough to make people feel comfortable. And New Hampshire State Police, as well as several other larger departments in the area, will be helping out Hampton Police with those extra patrols for the rest of the summer. We're live at Hampton Beach tonight. Scott Cook, WMUR News.